channel crystal here and today i have a small dollar tree haul um and i'm going to show you guys how i've been organizing my makeup using storage items from the dollar tree so if you want to see what i bought and how i'm using them continue to watch okay guys i have been obsessed with organizing my makeup room because i was like i have a whole bedroom that is dedicated to me and only me and i'm not doing anything with it like i've always had a makeup room like if y'all know me in tennessee i had a makeup room there um and i took pride in it so i was like you know what i gotta show up that makeup room with this one so i have been on the money mission <laughs> so anyway let me jump in quickly i didn't pick up much from the dollar tree but what i picked up um was some storage items so the first thing that I purchased were these long drawer organizers. I really, really like them because they have rubber on the inside. So when I place my makeup in there, it doesn't slip inside. And I also like the fact that they have these feet on them. So that way, when I place them in the drawer, as I open the drawer, I don't have to worry about the containers moving. But um, I only purchased three on this time around, but that's because I've already bought 15 of them because I decided that I needed 18 of them to go into my Alex drawers. So these were the last three that I needed I had to go to another Dollar Tree because I kind of cleaned out the first Dollar Tree sorry guys <laughs> but yeah so I purchased three of these to go into the last drawer that I want to put it in and stay tuned to the end of the video because I will show you how I've been organizing my makeup it's not finished but it's on the way the next thing that I purchased from the Dollar Tree are these frosted cubes I really really like these because you get three for a dollar and i like the fact too that these have feet on them they're not rubber feet but they're feet enough to where when you put them in the drawer it doesn't move back and forth but i do have these tucked between those long drawers and i have some short ones also so i really really like these and they are wide enough to where they can hold a pretty good amount of things right now i'm using it to hold a couple foundations and i really like how it sits up so yeah i purchased two of the three packs and lastly from this dollar tree how I purchased two napkin holders. Now I know you're looking at me like Crystal, why do you need napkin holders for your beauty room? And that is because these are going to double as my palette holders. I want to put all of my pretty palettes on my makeup desk and I'm going to stick them in and this is just the right size. Um, I can actually fit all three of my Lorac Pro palettes, I'm sorry, all four of my Lorac Pro palettes in here and it fits really, really good because I tried it last night. So I really, really like these. And again, these were a dollar. So I picked up two of those and I'm going to decorate my desk and put my cute palettes on the desk and then put my other ones in my drawer. And another thing I picked up from Dollar Tree has nothing to do with organization, but I thought it was super cute. And it was this emoji tape. OMG, y'all know I'm into planning supplies now. So every time I see tape, washi tape, or any kind of decorative tape, I pick it up. So you get two of these for a dollar and neat, and it's all of these emojis here. So I really, really thought that was cute, and I cannot wait to put that in my planner. So let me go ahead now and show you how I'm organizing my makeup. So here are my Alex drawers, and I'm going to show you how they are organized. When you open the drawer, as you can see, I have those long containers here. I have them three in a row. And then I have a shorter container, the same exact container here. And I like this this way because if I put the longer containers toward the back, I can't reach them. So I like to have it this way. So in this drawer, I just have eye bases. I have like face stuff, primers, face powders. I have all of my like color tattoos, elf stuff, all that stuff. And then all these are blue. And this drawer right here, I have all my Wet n Wild palettes. All of these are single eyeshadows, Wet n Wild palettes, Wet n Wild palettes, and then I have even more palettes back there. So yes, I have the same setup in all the drawers. Since this is a deeper drawer, I decided to make this my lash and foundation drawer. So what I did differently was I actually did put the three long containers here. So they go all the way to the back. Then I have those three frosted squares there and then a shorter container here. And as you can see, I have all my foundations in there and all of my lashes. And then I'm using this for all my eye mask. So yes guys, that's how I'm currently storing my makeup. I know that you guys are going to want to see a makeup collection video, so I am working on it. I still have four drawers that I need to organize with my palettes and with my other makeup items, and I'm still trying to figure out how I want to do that. But as soon as I figure that out, I will get a makeup collection video out for you guys because that is another highly requested video. So anyway, thank you guys for watching this. I hope I was able to give you guys some ideas on what you can use from the Dollar Tree to make sure that your makeup is very organized.
organized go ahead and give me a big thumbs up if you guys like this video and also subscribe so you'll be notified when i post and i'll see you guys in my next video deuces